Uh, you know, uh, Rich, looking back over weather over the years, and there is a purpose for us doing this, by the way, uh, from the time that Ralph Williams stood right over there and wrote uh, backwards with a, a, a bottle of white uh, ink, yeah. to today's technology, weather has come a long, long way. And in a relatively few short years, mm -hmm. uh, there's, a, there's always new things on the market, and we have something brand new to show you tonight, a weather computer at Channel 12 that's going to make the weather brighter, clearer, I think easier to understand, and uh, I'll let you be the judge of that over the coming weeks and months. Take a look at uh, the current temperatures first out of Montgomery Stanley Field. Skies are cloudy, the temperature is 80, wind is out of the northeast at 6, with the humidity now at 67 percent. The barometer is rising. No rain out of Stanley Field today, but our WSFA weather watcher reporter Barbara Creamer in North Montgomery had three-tenths of an inch in her rain gauge. Bob Cook in Prattville had gusty winds and rain in the Prattville area today. Well, the radar right now scanning on its full 200-mile range is showing showers and thunderstorms over North Alabama and back through Mississippi. Uh, this radar picture, by the way, which we've been showing you the last few days, is part of the new technology. It's a more detailed radar picture than was available to television uh, up till last year. It has a lot of detail. For instance, if I want to go in on, say, the southeast part of the state, I hit a button and we're there. Look at the heavy thunderstorms tonight, western Pike County into Crenshaw County, uh, down into Covington County and back into Florida. These are just about standing still, so some heavy rain coming down in those showers. No showers in the Montgomery area at this particular moment, but there were some earlier. Most of the time, we'll show you this view, which takes in most of the viewing area. Keep in mind, this is the radar site near the Centerville area. Now, we have the luxury here at Channel 12 to be able to show you two live National Weather Service radars. Here's the one you've been look, uh, used to looking at since 1977. And this fills in the gaps in the Centerville radar. Plus, we can still take you down to Mobile and various other coastal towns to show you hurricanes approaching the coast. We can also show you satellite views, uh, amazing satellite views. For instance, here are some satellite views of uh, the western Atlantic during the afternoon. We get 15 different pictures an hour, 15 different views which continue to come in. And so we'll be able to cover the weather uh, in more detail, but we get one picture in during the hour that was not available to television a few years ago. Here's the high-resolution satellite picture of the entire uni United States, again showing a whole lot of quality to the clouds. The brighter clouds here, the whiter clouds are the higher ones, the grayer clouds the lower ones. We can take that down to the regional level, and today, showers and thunderstorms during the afternoon scattered around the southeast. That's going to be the story all week long as we remain under a massive high-pressure area. Even though summer ends at 2.59 tomorrow morning, it's still going to be around for us all week long. Here's uh, radar views of the southeastern U.S. put in by the computer. That's going to be helpful, especially during severe weather situations. Look at all the thunderstorms along the Gulf Coast today and out into uh, Florida. We can also take it down to the state level. I think this is the most amazing. Television couldn't do this uh, up until just recently. You can see the, the brightest clouds now through north central and central Alabama during the late afternoon. And uh, we can also take in from the National Weather Service computers directly to ours the latest temperatures as of six o'clock which are being put in automatically now 83 the warm spot that's in uh, Columbus and the cool spot 72 Birmingham cool down by a shower it's 80 out of Danley Field today's high was 93 this morning's low 69 we were six degrees above normal for the day sunrise tomorrow 634 setting tomorrow evening at 641 and again fall begins tomorrow morning at one minute till three forecast for tonight a few scattered evening thunderstorms around then mostly fair light winds low around 70 for tomorrow and Wednesday, same thing, mostly sunny and hot. 30% chance of an afternoon thunderstorm, high both days around 91. For Tuesday night, isolated evening storms, then fair, low near 70. And that's the way it looks. You know, I gotta say, after seeing all of this technology, one of the things that I really appreciate are the county maps. Yes. The fact that the counties are actually outlined on our You on can our see map. where you live now. Where Absolutely. You couldn't do that before. And we were just letters on the map before. Right. Thanks a lot. We look forward to more of that. We'll be back in a moment. We'll explain uh, what uh, a postcard uh, with water buffalo on the front has to do with the new...